Is that why you was looking at me like that? I'm looking at you now. <laughs> I say, God, you, know, you turned me on right now and all that cleaning you doing over there. Miss Isaac. I must have been drinking. Miss Isaac, I must <laughs> tell on you. It's giving Cisco. Oh! It's Hi, you guys. Hey. We are back with another video. Yes. And this video is going to be for old time's sake because, you know, I always like to come back with a little questions video. Oh, no. Yes, it is pretty late. It is currently 10 45. I only got 4,400 steps. I don't know, but 10 45 is past my bedtime. What that mean? I'm old. You gonna perk me up? No, this drink will perk me up. That drink gonna put you to sleep. <laughs> Babe, you can't gray hairs. Oh, don't remind me every time I look it's in the mirror. Out your every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, it's another one. Didn't you buy that? Oh, what was that? Oh, something stabbed me just Ooh. now. You told me you bought nose clippers. You know what? Didn't you buy nose clippers? I think I did. Or you never received them? I think I never. If we got a package or something like that, I think I just never opened it. Anyway, so as you can see, it's late, but we have about to get a shapop anyway. Late night talks. I, I have made like a mixture between this is really like a lemon drop but with a rum floater and then i made david kind of like a long island don't yeah. show the name of the hook just her. it's darker him kind of like a long island how did it taste now that's mixed up like a long island lemonade i made an extra bit cup this time because usually we always gotta stop and refill david's cup yeah, it's a pretty big cup yeah so i just wanted to chat with you guys in the booth thing because Oh, I just want to have a little fun. Oh, gosh. So I came up with a couple of random questions, oh. and we're just going to bounce off each other just like old times. Oh, gosh. I'm nervous. Don't be. Oh, Lord. It's really light. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad. I don't trust you. Okay. Let's start off hot. Oh, man. <laughs> I only had David come up with three questions. Let me see. And I got mostly other questions. If you can only have... Choose one toy, what would it be? Who's whether it's for me, whether it's for us, or if it's something you would want that we don't have. If you only choose one. What do you mean by that? I would say something that we don't have that's on the list. And I don't know what it's called, but. Okay, describe it. It's a. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what I can say. <laughs> the PG elaborate about it. It is. Or you a, can make up a ne another name, but describe in a way that it's understood. A vibrating ring. Oh. <laughs> yes. I didn't even know about it. You showed it to me. Oh. Like, oh. <laughs> Hold up. To be interesting. <laughs> Yes, it's a, mm. uh, it's a. Um... Yeah, how you, how you want to describe it, yeah. Because I wasn't expecting to say that at all. So I forgot about that. That's on my list right now, right? That's, it's on your list? That's the next Wait, thing. you have a list? No, I mean, that's the next thing I want to obtain. Hmm. Mm. Why did I think you was going to say, like, a swing or something? I don't think of that as a toy. If it's, like, any element of. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't put a swing in my. That wouldn't be one of my tops anyway. Okay, what is your non-sexual turn-ons? Um, <laughs> I'm not to <laughs> answer your question, but uh, cleaning. Lord, like really? Yeah, if I see if I come into a house that's like it's clean, it smells good. So to see. Me cleaning turns you on. Yeah. Is that why you was looking at me like that? I'm looking at you now. <laughs> I say, God, you, know, you turned me on right now and all that cleaning you doing over there. I like that. Drowsy. Yeah. That was like, he was randomly like smiling at me all the time. <laughs> I was like... I was like, why you keep smelling at me? He's so like, I'm looking. Listen, you better keep that up over there. <laughs> Might get a reward. Keep on doing all that. Mm -hmm. I yes, it's when you're looking and smelling good. 
you know, I did uh, put on uh, my, my smell good lotion before that. we started I've doing this, that. right? I've seen that. And, and no. I, I brought this shirt up out of nowhere. <laughs> I ain't wore this shirt in like 10 years. Yeah, tell him that. You can let them know. Let that thing look shiny. It's giving Cisco. Oh, it's giving I got to get those. It's so, giving that, ooh, that girl's scandalous, handless, like who's a mm. devilish. <laughs> mm. uh, <laughs> you know, but if Drew Hill decided to go on tour, we were five steps. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I don't know what for. Man, nobody wait. was singing like that. No, nah, they don't sing like that no more. I mean, they no, were singing like no, that. No, wait, whoa. They were singing like that back don't in the day. Give, don't give Cisco too much because he's still. Who? Yeah, he's still, he's still, they, they, I think they are on tour. You think so? Yeah, they got back together. But let me tell you, Cisco's still doing, he might not can dance as good. I mean, his dance was always questionable, but we appreciate it because he committed. But, didn't that, he do that man like the, didn't, didn't he do like the, kind of like sidewalk across the beach? Devilish. Oh, she like to dance to the hip hop spot. On the thong song video? Cisco did a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know. You know, someone up that sang in that, that big old That's vein. That's when uh, start popping music up. videos used to be good. Mm. You used to couldn't wait to see a music video when one else is apart would drop it mm. at 6 p.m. And then you Is see, that the time it used to come on? 6 p.m. I remember that thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. How about you try one of yours? I got one right off the top of my head. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I'm scared now. It's funny. No. <laughs> Would you rather mm -hmm. lick an armpit? Okay. Or lick some toes? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> lick an armpit. Uh huh. Or lick some toes. In the it's a it's a hairy man armpit. Or look or lick a man's toes. So now we choose a random people. No, I was say me because I mean my armpits are hairy. So, a hairy armpit or my toes? This is after a shower? Yeah, after a shower. I do toes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do the toes. Nasty girl. Nasty. <laughs> I hate toes. I would not, I would toes be the last thing I do. I just don't like toes. Don't act like you need to suck my toes. I don't mean no, I like. Uh, don't no, mean I like. No, it. you volunteer. Don't, no, don't be. <laughs> It was, it Mr. Isaac. Was, I must have been drinking. Mr. I must have been drinking. Mr. Isaac, I'm going to tell on you. I must have been drinking. Listen, no, you didn't. I you, must have been drinking. You volunteered that. Because yes, you dare at, dare at me, child. <laughs> oh, no, you get a little, you get a little antsy over there. I'm about oh, to tell no. it. You definitely volunteered. You, you did one of these. That must have just been like in the bathtub or something like that. No, we were in the bathtub. We was in the bathtub? Yeah. Yeah, so it must have been in the bathtub. Well, don't act like you ain't kiss my feet and stuff in the middle of a session either. <sighs> okay, you talking about little like one offs here and there. Yeah, on, especially like... when you you into it, you was like this. You was like, <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, you 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 volunteer. But you, you know, I don't, I, I ain't really I ain't really messing with toes. Yeah, no, like I, that. I know that because I don't like my feet touched. But you like to touch me with your feet. I want them to rub on you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how I go to sleep. That's insomnia stuff. Like, you and the cat. Y'all both rub y'all feet all. I've been doing this for the last 13 years. It's never going to stop. Yeah, I know. Don't act like that. You got to miss it. You look kind of sexy over there. Alcohol kicking in? I mean, your eyes kind of like doing this. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to say. Let's look at Shadi. It's your question time right, right. now. Your question. Yeah, he, I don't know what's Golly. happening. Oh. I, I know now. I, no, I know. You don't even know what I'm about to say. I know. I said, I, just in case you, you catch me off guard, I want to swallow. I like when you put on like oil and stuff like that and you look shiny. It's you a talking about when I'm naked? Whenever you have oil on your skin and it's shiny and it's Looks good. What is my favorite thing that I do that you like? What when you have your nails on and you okay. are like, yeah, that's true. Caressing me with your nails. Yeah, uh, you know I love them nails. Yeah, I've probably been lacking on my personal. <sighs> yeah, 
Got to get that back together. Yeah, I know. You know, I just found out white toenails mean you're lesbian. Huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah. I've never heard that before. Yeah, this is something very recent I found out. I, I've heard that most guys like white toenails. Yeah. White toenails, but, but I've never that, heard it associated with being lesbian. In that industry of like. Okay, so let me tell you how I found out, right? I ended up finding this group, right, of cruisers. And they were talking about how... Cruisers? Yeah. They just go on cruises and stuff? Yeah, but they're like swingers. Oh, they be swinging on the cruises. Right. Uh Apparently, it happens on every cruise. There's a group of swingers on every cruise? There's like signs and signals. Golly, I don't know nothing. I know. I recently found out. Apparently, they do things to the door to let people know like they about that life. and Come on in. Yeah, like there's different color like <laughs> loafers that they stick on the doors. Oh, so do people just go walking down the halls looking for loafers? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because my question was to them like, all right, so once you see the signs, what happens next? Yeah. Like, how are you going about? You know what I'm saying? Like, how... Is there a special If you know, let me know. But, like, (laughs) even when it comes to... Because y'all know, if y'all don't know, it's, like, different signs, like, in your house that you do. The half-up, like, garage door, the upside-down pineapples. And then I'm like, okay, once you see the house and you swing, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm a swinger. Mm -hmm. I know that you're a swinger. Am I saying, hey, I see your garage door up. Like what are you doing? <laughs> like was, how are know. how are you bridging the gap? Is there a special knock? Is it like or something like that? Yeah. I don't know. Like, and then is if you have the garage a little bit up, it's a third up. Does that mean you're ready right now? And then like it's kind of weird though, because like more and more people just hang out in their garage now, so mm-hmm. they do who you have in their garage up. Mm-mm. So you knock on their door. It's only like a oh, third a cer- up. Oh, a certain. Yeah. Okay. But okay, going back to the cruise thing, it's like once 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 you put the loafer on the cruise door and whatever other signs you choose, mm-hmm. like what happens next? Be like, hey, I know what that loafer means. Like, do we have drinks or do we? <laughs> like... Or do you just watch the door and be like, oh, who knows people? And then be like, or do you just come? That's kind of creepy. Do you just come in, and watch or. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) What you trying to watch? Like if they're already doing... Like voyeurs? Like if they're already doing... How you know they're not doing it in the middle of the sessions? Well, well, it ain't like you could walk in. But if they come and open the door and they like already like... You think that's a thing? They just come in and walk in the door? If you're knocking on the door, they're going to open it, right? But they can't be in the middle of the... Well, I guess they can. Yeah. Throw on the road, go open the door. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's anyway, a whole lot out there. I don't even know how we got here. Okay, so is there like a way that you can tell that I want something? Yep. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> yep. You come in bed and then um, you just... Hold on, I'm not ready. Hold on. You know what you do. <laughs> mm. You come in bed. Let me see what you think I do. You come in bed and you act like you're sleeping, but then you like, well... Kind of back it up on me, and then you'll keep backing it up on me until what? until I until I make a move because you're not gonna make a move. Well, first of all, whoa. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. First of all, every time I'm in the bed, I gotta get in the pocket. In the pocket. Yeah, it's a <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's the pocket of your crevice. I gotta just, that's how. You gotta I, get spooned. Yeah. Mm. I shouldn't tell you. We already here now. You got, <laughs> they deserve to hear it, right? We already here now. <laughs> mm. Before I answer this, do any of y'all like do what he just said? Do you just keep backing it up and pretend like, oh, I wanna go to bed? And then like keep scooting it back and knowing that your cheeks out? Mm-hmm. Is that what y'all doing? I know a lot of girls do that. You do it. 
No. <laughs> okay. When I do really want to, I just come for it. You just what? Come for it. It's like usually I'll be like laying on you and leg over you. Because, you know, I'm not one of the ones that generally like cuddles. I don't cuddle at all, actually. If it's like 50-50, then I'll do what you say. It's like, mm, I'm okay if I don't. I'm okay if I'm this. It's like, I'm just giving you opportunity to see this moment if you do, but I'm okay if I don't. <laughs> and then you, uh, when you want something, it's always like super late because you gotta do all this and that to get prepared. And by the time you, read, it's like one, in the, is this one in the morning. What song is this? You gotta in? drink your drink. You gotta go through social media and Not look really. through all these posts. Maybe you gotta listen to an audio book or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> This is all after you take a shower. <laughs> so, like, four hours later, like, all right. All right, let's move on. Now that y'all know enough of my business and how I move. Mm -hmm. I know uh, your go-to. What's my go-to? You have a lot of go-tos. I'm pretty open book. I don't, like, beat around the bush or anything like say, that. I ain't say yeah. you did that. You definitely don't do that. Yeah. Cause any 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 moment you'll seize it. Mm -hmm. Y'all think it's me? I'm still the same. Stick. Oh, what's that? Uh, genuine song. Same OG. Yeah. Even though I got my own CD, maybe even on TV. Mm -hmm. There ain't no change in me. Same OG. I can only be me, me, me. You know, I did not like that song then, but now. Now that you see, I kind of like it. Yeah, you hear any of these older songs, and it's like, dang, they was a genius. Oh, no. with them it would never be like that again. Mm -hmm. Keep me back there. Okay. What type of woman do you think you'd Duh, be? Duh, you almost broke your phone. Get out of my business. Come on. <laughs> what type of woman you think you'd be with if it wasn't me? What type of woman would I be with if it wasn't you? Yeah. Like, looks, personality, everything. Uh, I used to be into, um, I can tell y'all, <laughs> lighter skin, lighter skin, curly hair girls. <laughs> That's definitely true, y'all. I think I'm like your first real black chick. Like if you like, can kind of like picture like Christina Milian, like that type of. Like Dominican? Yeah, like Ain't that. Ain't she Dominican? I don't know what she I is. I think she is Dominican. But. Hold on. Hey, Google. What is Christina Milian's ethnicity? Afro-Cuban. According oh, to Wikipedia, Cuban. early life, Milian, Milian in Spanish, was yeah. born in Jersey City, New Jersey, and is of Afro-Cuban descent. Google's so, so smart. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how y'all not out here with, without a Google hub, yeah. because I don't know. I, don't, I actually want to Google Maps. Is it just bigger or something? It's a bigger and it has camera. Yeah, it's similar. It's not, it's, I guess, Afro-Cuban, but, you know, be Afro-Latinas, basically, that's what she is. So, you like the the Afro-Latina, the light girls, but mm -hmm. I think I was, like, your first real black, black chick. Yeah. <laughs> so, it sounds bad, but... <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought I would be the one to but break your side? Er like, oh, everybody else... out to me. Everybody else had some type of mix. Yeah. Some type of mix. So you think you would continue on the cycle if it wasn't for me with the biracial? I don't know. I wasn't, to you, I, wasn't you a, to I wasn't having I wasn't having a lot of like long term luck with with, See, with, with, with how it was going. <laughs> so. It was all the chocolate girls that want to stick around. Yeah. Yeah. So I picked right. I tried to change my ways and I found you. Wait, so was the <laughs> The chicks were they were you approaching them or they approaching you or or equally? It was a mix, mix of both. So they holler at you. Mm -hmm. That's probably the difference between the black chicks we ain't hollering. Mm -mm. <laughs> and uh, so me then, if I didn't meet you, yeah, it's like uh, they always like my chocolates. Yeah, always liked your chocolates. Yeah, but what about height wise? Cause I'm a little bit taller than you, but I ain't like six. 10 and stuff like that. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. 
So, so they definitely to, would be taller. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're definitely would be probably taller. But, you know, okay, so then it'd probably be a taller black dude. All my dudes were at least close to six feet and up. Yeah. I mean, obviously, y'all still like because I've been with about 14 years. So hey, we last. But, honestly, mm-hmm. after, like, at my older age now, it, it <laughs> What? <laughs> I might offend you. We already here now. Well, two things. It'll either probably be an older black man. You would want to be with an older black man? Probably. Mm-hmm. It'll be two things. It'll, it, and they're two vastly different. Mm-hmm. Older black man talking in his 40s. Or a white man. That don't offend me. <laughs> Some people are offended by that. I'm not offended It'll by that. It'll probably be a white guy. No, I'm not offended by that. Because I just never did. Or, yeah. I'd just be single. I think I'd be okay with an older woman. Yeah. yeah. I could see that. Yeah. I could see you with an older woman. Mm-hmm. I already know this. I don't know why I had that question. I already know the answer. What's, what's the question and answer it? Go ahead and answer it. It's what is your celebrity crush? It was um the Dr. Dula girl. Kyla Pratt? Kyla yeah. Pratt or whatever her name is. Yeah. Kyla Pratt looks the same. Yeah, she still looks like she's like She looks 18. young for her age. She still looks like she's like, it's actually amazing how young she looks. So she still looks very young. Mm-hmm. See if you came up with one yet. I know, I don't, I still don't, it's it's crazy because I'll see certain people and be like, oh, that's a nice looking man, but it's not enough to like, make me remember him. Yeah, I don't, I don't really ever hear you talk about anything. <laughs> it's like, there's, I can appreciate somebody looking good, but enough to crush on them? Yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think I'm still in the same boat. But I think you know what it is when I do see somebody I could possibly crush on, I don't never look for their name. So how do you know who they are? Right. That's why I can't name nobody. Dang. Yeah. I think you're more attracted to personality rather than looks. Yeah. Mm. I think it's something about, though, being with like somebody who is a, is it an unanimously attractive. It's something that's off-putting about that to me. So... You're saying, like, if all the girls like this dude... Then it makes me like him a little not, less. You're not like them. No. So, like, I can see somebody, like, everybody loved them some Michael B. Right? Mm-hmm. All the girls love them some Michael B. But because all the girls like them some Michael B, it makes me like, oh, yeah, he's an attractive man. But, like... So, out of Michael B. and Chadwick, who would you like? <laughs> It's crazy. I think I would fit more Chadwick. I think you. I think I knew that was gonna be your answer. Yeah, I would fit Chadwick more than. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. You see him when he came out in that little priest fit on the red carpet. The that was like one Af- African priest fit. Right? Was it? Yeah. He came out the priest fit. He was fly. Mm-hmm. What? It's a good one. You came back like. <laughs> How many partners you have? I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't know. Before me. I don't know. I don't well, guess. I don't know. Guess. I don't know. You know. I don't know. <laughs> I, you see these gray hairs? More than eight? Yeah, more than eight. More than ten? More than twenty? I'm going to say like thirty. Does numbers bother you? Does numbers bother me? Um, Not now, no. Not, not that I'm older. It was probably something I thought about when I was younger. So, like, if I told you I had 42 partners? Um, I don't even really think I would care. I, I Back would, then, not now, because, I mean, you've been hitting this thing for a long time. Back then, yeah, when I was younger, that was something I In cared the about. In our, our relationship. Yeah, that's something I cared about when I was younger. Now, let's say, like, I'm at this age and we just got together now. It's not something I would care about. Yeah. I mean, I definitely have 42 partners, but, like... <laughs> it's something that you look at but different. I, I don't think it's no big deal. No, you, you look at it differently as you get older. Yeah. Because it's like, well, I mean, 
if it is more partners, that means there's more experience there. Yeah. This means there's less I got to teach you. That means right. there's, there's more that you can teach me, stuff like right. that. So That's what I think, like, now. It's like, even if you get with someone now, it's like, honestly, I don't think there's any number that someone can tell me that would bother me enough to be bothered. Yeah. Like, it would have to be, like, astronomical numbers. The only thing that would bother me is, is if, you know, it, there was just, like, a person lingering you that you were with in the past, and that person just oh, yeah. is always a, or oh, linger, yeah. lingering around or something like that. I think women are worse for that. Yeah. Women always keep a back pocket. No, no, no. I'm saying <laughs> the women who, like, say, like, it'll be a lingering woman to a man. Mm-hmm. Versus a lingering man to a woman. No, I think I think women have a higher chance of having a, a past. No, no, ring. no. What I mean is, is that, like, even if the woman, like, even if a woman has like in the background a man that's interested in her, he's gonna respect the boundary, right? But I feel like women, even if they're not with you they don't respect the boundary as much. Like, they'll feel more like one-up the girl, even if she's not the main chick. Like, mm-hmm. they don't hold their position well. As in, like, a man would be okay with being number two to another man. Mm. Well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like even if a guy, even at this point, even years ago, if a guy told me like, "Oh, I slept well over hundred women," I'm like, I wouldn't care in the slightest bit. Now I would be mad if he told me two hundred or a hundred and he's sucking bad. I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> because what's the point? Yeah. Now you just was a slob in the slews. Or you just had a bunch of like. One time experiences. It don't matter. Those those one hundred, two hundred, one time <laughs> experience should have collected something. And if you just suck over here, there ain't no point. You just giving me now. You are giving me dirty vibes. I mean, you usually don't know how good you are in bed unless you've had a consistent partner. I can see that. So, and and there's there's guys that will just like. That's okay, y'all. Don't be alarmed. He's in heat, so. Just settle down at some point. <laughs> as long as you're safe at the end of the day. Yeah, I don't I don't think it matters. I don't know. I think that's a maturity level. So, I don't know. Moving on. Have you ever had a bad d*** yelp? Wait, say that again? <laughs> a bad what? Has anyone ever told you, like, there's something you do that's not good intimately? You? Oh, shit. <laughs> You're the only one who's told me something. <laughs> I didn't do Yo, make sure you're not living out here with something you don't like, okay? <laughs> I feel like when you need situations, especially in a serious relationship, you got to tell your partner when they ain't doing something right. But what did I tell you? Hmm? Are you comfortable saying what I tell you that I give you back? Basically a review of intimacy. Yeah. But no, um... What is something I basically said that you could do better? Oral technique. Oh, yeah. You're amazing, by the way. Yes. So Now, it I, took a long time. It didn't take a long... Well, I mean... You can't answer that. I, I mean, I'm fully... I think I'm... You're an expert now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know one. What? I'm trying to see if you remember what I said. You can do better on... Um, I'm trying to say it in a oh, YouTube. And then you, what? <laughs> I wonder what you're trying to say. I was just saying like motions. Oh, I wasn't talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say being too quiet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, vice versa. Have you ever had a bad vagina? A bad vagina, yep. From you? What I say before I before me anybody else before me. Mm-mm. Moving on. 
<laughs> have you ever had any embarrassing moments from your eyes intimately? Embarrassing moments? Yeah. Um, Whether it was me with me or somebody else. Has there any, been a moment like that was embarrassing? Yeah. Yeah, big one. <laughs> what was it? Uh, in my days before you, I, we would just get it in wherever we could. And a lot of times I was in a car. A lot of times I was in my car. What and, happened in your car? Um, well, you know, we're doing our thing at the drive through and then we finish. Then I go start the car and the car don't work. <laughs> oh, you just gave bro. <laughs> so the battery died. My battery died on the car, and then I had to call my friend to come and give me a I jump. Have to smash it. To so do. then they had your friend had to see the person you smash after your whole car broke down. Yeah, and then my friend brought their girlfriend or whatever. So like kind of. So like, then she seen her too. Yeah, but everybody kind of already knew what it was. So. <laughs> oh, they did. Yeah. So your your people's peeped it. Yeah, they already know what it was. They know what I'd be doing. So wait. They knew what I'd be. (laughs) They knew you you was doing it like that. Don't Don't talk about it. This the only time it's it's gonna come. It's a it's a common thing if a guy if you are with the girl guys know what you. That doesn't necessarily mean that. You saying it does? Wait, just because they seen you with a girl, they automatically presume that you smash. Yeah, or you've like probably said something to your guys before that like you know did going, you um yeah i think i said i said something to them before about this one so they already knew no but i want to know in that moment did they know that you smashed them prior to them come and pick you up yeah it was like super late at night that I called. it was like 1 30 at night that's but in the morning in the morning 1 30 in the morning that i called that so so is that a thing when you hang out with a dude that automatically assume that you smash? Yeah, okay. a guy a guy will make the assumption that y'all smashing, especially if y'all hanging out like late at night. That is embarrassing. Especially if y'all hanging out late at night. Yeah. Okay, let me think. Have I had any embarrassing? Mm-hmm. No. Yes. When when before you when I came to the guy's house. With my partner at the time, his friend's house for the very first time. Ten minutes in, he went and took me to tour his friend's house, and then ended up wanting to smash. And then the guy walked in on the smashing, and then he locked eyes with me <laughs> as we were smashing. And he was just watching. He was literally. Let me. Can I do it without y'all seeing my shorts? So you're the smashing party, right? So you, us, this is his friend. This is his friend. Like this close. (laughs) And he's like doing this really slowly. Oh, shit. (laughs) And then he goes grab something really slow. And I'm just trying to like stop, right? And the dude who I was with was like, he going like, man, fuck him. Like, you know, and he keep going. And then he's like. Did y'all finish? I think we went a little bit longer until I kept fighting him on stopping. Because I was embarrassed. Mm. I was I was really embarrassed. Mm-hmm. And then I had been in a dude house all of 15 minutes. I was smashing his room. <laughs> With my boyfriend at the time. It was my boyfriend. And you know, that was kind of sus. Because like, your friend seeing you smash me. And then you don't want to stop. Because he's probably smashed girls. They probably smashed, have done that something similar to that in the past. I don't know. I, that must be young dude stuff. Because I feel like you want your, your friend seeing your girl stuff. And then I have to do the walk of shame. Because now he back downstairs. And now at this point, by the time we straighten up, get ourselves together. Because we thought we locked the door. Well, we did lock the door. But then there was another door that had access to the room that he went through. And then I had to do the walk of shame to say... Nice to meet you. <laughs> and his parents came home at the same time. That time. <laughs> the friend's parents. Yeah, that's funny. Embarrass. Did you ever meet the friend again after that? Or? I did. Hmm. 
Y'all just like bonded after that, huh? I guess so, because <laughs> that was his actual best friend. Mm-hmm. To this day, I think they're friends. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, we're going to get out of here because it's late. Yeah. No, we're not going to smash. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> How are we gonna smash face? I know, but you ain't have to like tell. Them. You look good though. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. You're welcome. But and that wasn't sexual either. No, it wasn't. But anyway, that's gonna be all for this video. I definitely love you guys. If there's more topics that you want us to cover or style, we're thinking about doing a GQ style questions video where it's like, can you answer the question? Maybe add like a shot to it if you don't get the answer right. Maybe something like that. I think that would be fun. But I wanted to like post a little fun video with us too before we get to more of the serious topics once again. But I definitely love you guys and see you guys in the next video. In the next one. See you guys. Bye.